Hey guys, it's Kira. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today is the first day that I am using my brand new camera. And I feel so excited about this. It's insanely exciting. Um, I've waited for almost two years to go ahead and buy a camera that wasn't my phone. And uh, yeah, I'm just over the moon. I'm having a hard time keeping it still because it's heavier than I expected. But I wanted to show you that um, that I made some iced coffee. So what I did is I filled my tumbler here with ice all the way up to the top. And in a separate little mason jar, I poured in some uh, hot coffee and sweetened it the way I wanted it to be sweetened so that the sugar would melt in the hot coffee and not be unmelted on the bottom of my cold coffee. And then I poured the hot coffee over the ice and added more creamer than I normally would have because I like, um, I like sweet iced coffee and stronger, I like stronger hot coffee. And here's a look at the little baby stovies that I've made. They're looking pretty. Take a look at the other one. Yeah. They're looking nice. We're gonna leave them here for a little bit longer. It's May 1st today, so. And I probably let this go a little bit longer than I should have, but um, we'll just have stronger kombucha. And I've got my mixing bowls out because I need to make some bread. Um, I told my mom is in town from Mexico right now. She um, She's retired and spends her winters in Mexico on the beach. Well, she asked me to make her some bread for her, so I decided I'm gonna make her some charcoal bread and last month's bread of the month bread, which was the bee's knees, and that had um, honey and bee pollen. Um, so I'm gonna make her both of those. And my friend down the street also gets a bread of the month and um, she, so I'm gonna make her a, a bee's knees bread today too. And um, I guess I should probably figure out what I'm gonna make for May's bread of the month. If you have any suggestions on flavors that I can make for my May bread of the month bread, leave those down in the comments below. And um, if you wanna see a recipe of me making the bread of the month from last month, which was the bee's knees, or the month before, which was the matcha bread, um, let me know and I will make a recipe video for both of those. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bottle up some kombucha and mix up some breads and I'll be back. Now I'm trying to get this bowl out of this bowl and it's not working. <laughs> what did I do? There's a plastic bowl stuck inside my metal KitchenAid bowl. I can't get it out. And you've got to excuse me because since I just got this camera, I keep looking at myself in the screen right there instead of you guys. So that's something I've got to work on. <laughs> So 
I'm still doing this. And I keep thinking that if I can just get in there in between the two bowls that this plastic one will just pop out. I don't know if I, uh, if my theory is solid or not, because obviously it's not working. Oh, shit. Now what can I do to make this better? How can I get this out? How can I get this out? So I just felt it like pop back in. Oh. to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't stack these. You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Yeah, potty. Okay, let's go potty. Are you gonna sing for me? No. No. You can say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ha. So, this is about as much water as we got. That's quite a lot of water. That's a lot of rain. I should really put a rain meter out there somewhere. But I mean, that's gotta be at least five inches. Lexi, don't drink it, it's yuck. Everyone looks okay. Oops, let me just knock over my uh, tomato real quick. But everything looks good. I need to transplant some of these.
girl. Yesterday, one of my blue eggs was soft. So I'm thinking um, not enough calcium or maybe like a little bit of stress. So um, I offered some more calcium today, some eggshells, and I uh, switched up their food recently to something that had more calcium. So hopefully that makes a difference. Um, so one of my Easter eggers is in the laying box right now. I don't know if it was her or if it was the other one, um, but I didn't see any eggs in there beforehand, so when she gets out, and if there's another soft egg, I'll know if it was her or not. Hopefully with the new feed and the extra eggshells, um, it makes a difference. decided to let my radishes bolt and they have bolted pretty nicely here. 